Hell divers, welcome back to the HQ. Hope you're all doing well, and we're going to dive right into this video and talk about a bunch of stuff that's been happening in the Hell Divers community. We're going to talk about how we have unfortunately felled the most recent major order, and then find out what the new major order involves and how the automatons keep advancing towards Super Earth. And then I'm also going to talk about the new hidden update to the Bile Titans that make them even more dangerous and a threat to all of democracy. And then it looks like some new major issues have arised affecting some of the ship modules in the game. The devs have responded to this. Find out what they say about this. And then also one of the armor sets that was a part of the most recent war bond had quite the mix up. The devs respond about this as well. So let's dive into the news, Hell Divers, right now. And check out this funny clip that was posted by Hell Divers Alert that said, An eagle never misses. And then they go into the epic pose, but that's what happens. I thought that was a hilarious clip to start off the video. But let's take a look at what's going on with the war front, everybody. So right now, we unfortunately lost the most recent major order. It says the automatons have seized control of many innocent and once beautiful worlds. The valiant and tireless defense raised by the Helldivers was commendable, but it was not enough to stop such a large and cowardly assault. Any colonists not driven from their homes were likely slaughtered. Their votes forever lost. I love how they just talk about the votes, like that's the only thing they care about. But we're going to look at the new major order that is upon us. So it says, the automaton advance must be halted, establish and hold the Menkit line to allow establishment of orbital defenses. Order overview, designated planets must be under super Earth control when the order expires. And this includes the planet of Menkent and Lasoth. And the major order ends in three days, 17 hours as of posting this video. So you know what to do, Helldivers. Get to it, protect democracy, and defend these planets with everything you've got. And then also, I've got to show this to you all as well. There is a new update, secret update, I should say, to the Bile Titans. This was posted on Reddit by Luxillary CA that said, Hidden Update, Bile Titans can perform executions now. And this execution looks absolutely brutal. So you definitely do not want to stand too close to the Bile Titan or you're going to feel the wrath of one of its legs right there. So this is Pretty darn brutal. I have not had this happen yet. Uh, I got into a game yesterday, and me and my squad were able to take down quite a few of the Bile Titans successfully without incurring that type of execution damage from the Bile Titan. Now, I'm going to talk about this as well. It appears there's some big bugs happening with the ship modules, unfortunately. This was posted by Divers.gg. They said, along with the release of the new war bond, six new high-level ship upgrades were added to the roster, ready for players to use on the battlefield. However, the superior packing methodology upgrade is currently bugged and not working as it should. Mind you, this upgrade costs 150 normal samples, 150 rare samples, 15 super samples, and 20,000 requisition, which is a hefty price to pay for something that doesn't work. Divers on Reddit quickly reported that after spending this huge amount of resources on the upgrade, they were shocked to find that when equipped, it does not resupply the maximum amount of magazines as it states it does. From the in-game description, it reads resupply boxes refill support weapons with the maximum number of carryable magazines. So unfortunately, that is bugged out right now, and the developers have responded about this on Discord. They said, Helldivers, some of you have reported that the ship module upgrade superior packing methodology isn't working properly after being purchased. We're still investiga investigating this and are looking into a permanent fix. But in the meantime, simply restarting the game seems to resolve it. 
feel free to ping me or community manager with feedback on if this works for you or not. Have a great weekend diver. So they are aware of the issue and they have what appears to be a quick fix for that issue for now. And I'm sure there's going to be a hot fix in the near future. Now there's also another issue with the new armor as well. And the developers have responded about this too. Spitz said, regarding the CE27 groundbreaker armor, we're aware of a slight mix up that resulted in it going live with the servo assisted passive instead of the engineering kit passive as advertised. This should be changed back in an upcoming hotfix. Please keep in mind if this armor is one of the reasons you're thinking of purchasing the new war bond. So they are going to fix that. And I did notice that I found that odd when I saw that at first with that armor. So it's good that they are updating that and fixing that. Now also this was posted on Reddit Two. This was posted by uh, Helldiver Sam. They said new content doesn't hit as hard when it's spoiled by game breaking bugs. They went on to say, whoa, a new thermite grenade? Too bad damage over time effects don't work unless you're the host. Whoa, 25% extra fire damage? Too bad damage over time effects don't work unless you're the host. Whoa, an extra enemy hit by arc weapons? Well, too bad. They're incredibly inconsistent and blocked by light breeze. Not one of them is so unbelievably bad. I've literally never seen a random use it. Whoa, resupply boxes will fully refill support weapons? This sounds great. What do you mean it doesn't even work? Arrowhead, I am begging you, take the time to fix your growing list of known issues. I promise we can all wait a couple more weeks than usual before you drop another balance patch or content drop. Stability is breaking at the seams and it's beyond frustrating at this point. And they do bring up a good point there. They're basically saying, you know, that Arrowhead should uh, spend more time fixing bugs and maybe testing this stuff before releasing new war bonds and updates. And here's my opinion on this. I don't think Arrowhead should necessarily have to uh, delay any of their further updates to fix bugs. I think they might need to hire maybe a couple more people or hire a couple more QA testers to test this stuff uh, before it goes live. I don't think we want to see this stuff get delayed because I think one of the reasons why Helldivers 2 is such a success is because Arrowhead keeps on pumping out the content consistently. And if they break that routine of consistent updates, I do think they'll start to see players falling off from the game. So I think they need to get more QA testers in there perhaps and get their quality assurance testing beefed up a little bit more and then keep those consistent updates. I don't think we really have to sacrifice the consistent updates for this game because again, that's what's keeping this game alive and that is the heart of this game. They've done such a brilliant job giving us new stuff to look forward to consistently and I don't want to see them break that routine. I just want to see them do more quality assurance testing. Now, let's talk about the Adjudicator weapon. There's been a lot of feedback on the Adjudicator, and this is what uh, Anthony Copa posted on Reddit. They said the complaints are silly. The Adjudicator is fine. They posted this balloon animal render of the Adjudicator, and this is just freaking funny to me right here. But uh, yeah, a lot of people are complaining that this particular weapon in the Warbond just doesn't feel right, and I'm definitely one of those people. Uh, this was posted by Ghostbuster119. They said, so here's the thing. I'm absolutely cool with them adding micro support weapons to the loadouts. Don't want to bring a grenade launcher. Try the grenade pistol. It's actually kind of fun, too. Don't want to bring the auto cannon. Try the new boom rifle. But if we don't want to bring the AMR, yet still have some range, or hell, just have some reliable DPS at longer ranges in general, the options are extremely limited. All the marksman rifles are terrible past difficulty 5. Are they usable? Absolutely, if you really, really put your heart into it. But they have no niche and no real value in the grand scheme. They need to have a critical hit damage boost and maybe even a critical hit stun. Something to help against the hordes of enemies that swarm you the moment you start long range sniping at them. And I totally agree. There definitely needs to be something done with 
the adjudicator for sure it feels weak and i feel like uh the recoil also feels off with that weapon as well they need to reduce the recoil and this is what lumens aquila said they said all good points i think right now the handling would be a key balance point for the dmrs the cs has a good use case against bots but the handling is low enough that it struggles to do the one thing it's made for which is clicking heads i would trade a rof rate of fire drop for increased handling on the cs it would make it a bit less forgiving and reduce the dps for mag dumping on a large target but would make it more valuable for players who can rapidly line up those shots and i don't really think it needs a rate of fire decrease i think all they need to do with the dmr uh, is provide more accuracy Lessen that recoil, make it more of a confidence-inspiring weapon that we Helldivers can use against the automatons and the bugs as well. So, again, what do you think about the new Adjudicator weapon? Leave a comment down below. Do you like it? Do you feel like it's too weak? Again, I feel like it's too weak, and I think it's simply because of that recoil and the weapon handling as well now also i want to talk about this that was posted on n4g they said it's been two months since helldivers 2 launched and it shows no signs of slowing down in the last 24 hours the title managed to hit a maximum concurrent player count of 300 45,000 on Steam and continued its pace as the number one seller on the platform. Why it matters? Players gradually lose interest in games over time, and most games suffer from a major drop-off in player counts once the initial launch anticipation wears off. So, as you can see, Helldivers 2 is still doing very, very good, and this is very good news for us Helldivers. And I think one of the main reasons is what I mentioned earlier, is it's because Arrowhead keeps on doing those consistent updates. They keep on giving us new war bonds. They keep on telling this new story with that galaxy map, and they keep on giving us new major orders. And I think if uh, Arrowhead manages to keep on going with these new updates, with these new war bonds consistently like they have i don't think we're gonna see this game slow down anytime soon also check out this post guys by hell divers 2 updates twitter they shared this which was from death by 1000 bahabara and it says new plan guys what if we corralled the bots and bugs towards each other and then start a three-way fight and they posted this concept image of the war going towards each other and this would be awesome to see, honestly, to see the automatons and the terminids on the same planet at once would be just insane and pure chaos. Now, will this happen? I have no idea. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if this eventually happens. And I think this would definitely bring that peak player count back up and even more. Can you imagine how many players would join the fight if... It involved a planet that had the Terminids and the Automatons on it all at once. It'd be absolute chaos. All right, Helldivers, that's going to do it for the video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button as well. Keep it right here at the HQ because I'll be reporting on everything that's happening in the Helldivers universe as we continue to battle and spread democracy across the planets. So I'll see you all next time. Take it easy. Take care.